Hey everybody, Jim and Eric here to talk about the Suicide Squad movie and one particular element of it. We did uh, a conversation earlier about the casting news itself and how awesome that was. Yeah. But the news so awesome, buried within that, that variety report that broke the news, was a little something jaw-dropping about the inclusion of Amanda Waller in, mm. in, the, uh, in, in the movie and the three actresses that they're looking at for the role. Eric, why don't you tell the folks who the three actresses are? Okay, so you've got Viola Davis and you've got Octavia Spencer, so uh, both alum of the help, uh, yes. claimed actresses. But, <laughs> those are great actresses, <laughs> but... <laughs> Here's the jaw-dropping yeah, moment. Yeah, Oprah freaking Winfrey. That's right. And this is, I believe, the first time IGN will have a video <laughs> speaking Dedicated about, to Oprah. <laughs> yeah, yes. but... Uh, yeah, that was pretty amazing to read that. Yeah, yeah I mean, she, uh, Oprah Winfrey, if you guys don't know, you might not, but not only is she a billionaire and a media mogul, mm -hmm. she is an actress. She was nominated uh, way back when for The Color Purple, and yep. she was in The Butler just last year. Uh, she was great in both of those films. Yeah. Uh, she's a legitimately really good actress. Um, it's just really stunning that uh, she is said to be, according to Variety, Warner Brothers' top choice for it. Right. Uh, let's talk about why it would be really awesome if Oprah Winfrey was Amanda Waller. Why don't you tell folks a little bit about maybe uh, Amanda Waller to begin with? Well, I mean, Amanda Waller, you know, uh, has a big place in DC, uh, you know, is the person usually sort of behind the Suicide Squad has, you know, Variety and some other outlets said she almost has kind of got a Nick Fury role. Yeah. She doesn't go out in the field with them, but she is kind of calling the shots and kind of organizing and maybe planning their ops. Um, she has already been in a lot of other DC adaptations. We've got the animated version right behind us from the Justice League series, which yeah. was very popular, where CCH Pounder voiced her. She's on Arrow right now, although it's the new 52 incarnation where she's right. younger and skinnier. Um, but yeah, she's always... She was uh, in Green Lantern, played by Angela Bassett. Right, right. Yeah. So she's this sort of power player in the DC universe, and clearly they are looking to make her the same thing in this yeah. movie universe. Yeah, and I think she also, she can be the, the, the good bad guy, too, in a way. Right. And which is perfect, obviously, for Suicide Squad. But, you know, if you're going to get Oprah Winfrey in your movie, I have a feeling there's, there's a larger reason for that, which is Oprah's reach... Mm -hmm. As a media person, is is astounding. Um, if she mentions a, a a book on her show for her book club, that thing becomes a bestseller. Yep. I imagine to talk a little bit about what that could mean for a comic book movie. Right. I mean, again, it's like you know, we're IGN, we're fans of these comics, we're the easy sell. Right? Yeah, we're going to see that. Anyways. Right. Yeah. But Suicide Squad is a very out there concept. It, it's let's even say it's an off putting title to some people. Yeah. Some people will say Suicide Squad. I don't want to see that movie. Right. Oprah is an amazing way to sell your movie to an audience that probably never would see it. <laughs> and, you know, look, DC is, yeah, they're playing catch up here with Marvel to a degree. Um, and it is interesting that they're casting so big with and Will Smith alone, this yeah. huge star. They're going the full nuclear option yeah. on this one, I think. You get <laughs> Oprah in there, yeah, and she can open your audience up into a just a oh, totally yeah. different degree. I mean, imagine if she, she's doing her book club thing and she decides for the hell of it to throw out there. And you know what, if you're curious about this movie I'm doing, you should check out this graphic novel. This trade like, paperback, yeah. I mean, that thing will shoot up the Amazon <laughs> list in no time. Yeah, right? yeah, so it's, I mean, it's it's a very smart sort of play if they, if they can get her to do yeah. it. And I mean, I know some people, I've already seen some people saying, oh, she'd kind of, um, she'd be distracting or whatever, but I don't know. I mean, I think, it, look, it's a crazy bit of casting, but the whole movie's crazy She's, casting. It's not gonna be, to me, it, the minute you see Joker walking around yeah. in the movie, you're just going to be thinking about all these characters. Mm -hmm. She's not distracting when she's an actress in a movie. Yeah, sure, you're aware she's yeah. Oprah, but you could say that of Will Smith, Tom Hardy, anybody at this point. Um, you know, she she does disappear into her role. She mm -hmm. was great in The Butler. She's great in, in um, Color Purple. Uh, but... We don't want to oversell the possibility of getting her either. She right. is a very busy person. She has her own network. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a big get if they can get her. That's why we think they might not get her. Right. And and who we both agree uh, on who we think the the more likely candidate. Is. I mean, Viola Davis uh, is you know a great acclaimed actress, and she's very hot right now because How to Get Get Away with Murder, her new show, is a big hit. 
Yeah. Uh, and so she, right now, there's a lot of attention on her. This is a really good time to cast Viola Davis in a movie. Yeah. Uh, Ender's so, Game is really kicking themselves yeah, right now. Yeah. yeah. So if Oprah doesn't happen, and we do think it's a long shot as much as Warner Brothers is going to try, uh, Viola Davis seems very, very likely yeah. someone that we get. And Octavia Spencer is also a, a wonderful actress. She won yeah. the Oscar, uh, Best Supporting Actress, for the help. Yeah. Uh, and she's been around for a while. She's been in a lot of different movies, can do comedy, can mm -hmm. do drama. Um, she might be the more likely one at the end of the day to probably get the role. But we think you, you, want, you want to get Oprah for pure business and sort of uh, the broadening of your audience for all the reasons you laid out. Um, so we're really excited for this. Uh, can't really believe we're talking about Oprah Winfrey <laughs> yeah. alone on IGN, let alone in a comic book movie that could be Suicide Squad. A, a, a suicide Squad. People, <laughs> right. this is unprecedented times we're in right here. <laughs> but we want to hear your thoughts on on the casting of Amanda Waller. Uh, would you like to see Oprah Winfrey in this movie? Uh, so for all things, I uh, all things I can keep it on. Definitely. For everything <laughs> on Suicide Squad and Oprah Winfrey from now on, <laughs> keep it here in IGN.